Here I'm wearing Aesthetica's Haven in R826H. It has some beautiful cap features, a temple to temple lace front, and a full single monofilament top. However, sometimes we can run into a visible seam that you will find between the lace front and the monofilament top. And with a low density wig style, sometimes those seams can be really apparent and unsightly. So let me show you just a little trick of what I do to cover up or camouflage that seam. Now you could pull the hair back away from the face into a styling option like this and you definitely won't be able to see down in and to that seam. Um, however, if you want a solution that will allow you multiple parting options without really seeing that seam, I suggest one of two things. I like to use a bit of a dark colored eyeshadow dabbed onto that seam to obscure it. If you wanted something a little more permanent, you could use something like um, a furniture marker or some sort of dye or maybe even a permanent hair color to wipe right along that seam to disguise it. I like to pick a color that's just a little bit darker than the color that you see here because when you apply the eyeshadow, it's, not, it's going to be a bit opaque. It's not gonna be solid. Now you could build it and make it a little more solid, but I'm using a very dark brunette shade out of my color palette. So the first thing you want to do is pin the hair back so that you can isolate the seam. So now that I've isolated that seam, I'm gonna come back to my eyeshadow color, and this is not a good mirror, so I'm gonna use my mirror to dab it right onto that seam. And if you find that the match is not a good one for the color, go ahead and just make your switch. I think I'm gonna go over here to a little bit of a different brown. It's already starting to look better. Okay, you can do that, go, go over it as much as you need to. The eyeshadow that I'm using is, obviously it's not gonna be permanent. It's not gonna last through washings, but it will at least get you through a few wearings, and if you have to reapply it, oh well, it's just eyeshadow that is temporary. The seam is, for all intents and purposes, very well disguised, don't you think? And that's exactly the little bit of a trick that I would use to hide my seams no matter what the color, even if it were light blonde. You can find a powdered eyeshadow to match the hair around it so that you can help at least soften and disguise it. See you next time.